Hey everyone, it's Veronica Variga for AfterBuzz TV. We're here on the red carpet for the premiere of the new Netflix series, Seven Seconds. Good. I love your so dress. Very sparkly. Thank you, thank you. I <laughs> wanted to make a statement oh with it. Yes, yes, girl, you are making a statement. Looking good. <laughs> thank you. Um, so this is crazy. I read, tell me if this is true, that you actually have a degree in physics and psychology. I do, I do. I double majored in physics and psychology. I graduated from college last year. Wow. Yeah, it was one of those things of I went to a performing arts high school, so I I kind of got my drama training. I had an agent. I was already working, and I was going to college. I went to one of the only tuition-free programs in the country because I didn't want to go into debt, and I wanted to study something that was different and something that interested me. And I was like, "What do I like? I like the brain, and I like space. So I'm just going to do that." <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of actors, you know, they're very creative, and I know physics is very sort of logic-driven. It's great that you can do both. Um, has that really helped you in your acting, the psychology degree? Oh yeah, the psychology, the physics, not at all. The physics is just like it's like a cool party trick where I'm like, "You want to see some." Calculus, I can do that. But you know, with the psychology, I think that was really key to kind of, you know, I love dissecting characters and I love dissecting their brains. And I think coming from the psych background, I'm able to apply the theories that I've actually learned to these characters, especially because I play a lot of dark, damaged teen girls. You know, so understanding kind of the different areas of the brain that kind of. And also the the fact that you know your brain doesn't fully develop until you're in your mid twenties, so kind of playing with that with teen teen brains. <laughs> How fun! So you are you're a junkie in the show, right? That's what I read. Yes, yes, I'm a junkie. You know. As you do. Tell us a little bit about how she sort of meshes in with the whole storyline, uh, without giving too much away, of course. Yes, yeah, so without without sharing too, too much. Um, so Nadine is, uh, yes, she's a junkie, and she is maybe a very key player in what happened to Brenton. She may know more than she's letting on. She may have seen more than she's letting on. I like that. And that's all I can let on, <laughs> or else the Netflix police will come and find me. <laughs> well, have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.